Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. This game is more than just another title in your library. It's a unique blend of rich lore, incredible world building, and an intriguing mix of history and mythology. So what makes Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn stand out? Let's break it down. First off, the game's setting is a remarkable blend of the Napoleonic era and Mesopotamian mythology. Imagine the battlefields and uniforms from Napoleon's time mixed with ancient gods and mystical underworlds. It's a gods versus guns theme that you won't see anywhere else. The developers at the 44 Games have created a world where black powder weaponry is just as powerful as divine magic. Pretty cool, right? In Flintlock, you play as Norvanic, a warrior trying to free her world from oppressive gods. The door to the great below opened 10 years before the events of the game, unleashing undead horrors. Now, with the help of the coalition army and an uneasy alliance with Enki, one of the gods, Nor is on a mission to bring death to these gods using a variety of gunpowder weapons. What's really fascinating is how the game incorporates real-world elements with fantasy. The Napoleonic aesthetic is evident in the uniforms and trench warfare, but the magic and mythological aspects add a whole new layer. The developers didn't just stop at creating a visually stunning game. They added depth with a rich narrative and complex characters influenced by Mesopotamian mythology. For example, Inki, Nor's companion, is directly inspired by the Mesopotamian god of the same name. While Enki in the game doesn't follow the mythological tales to the letter, he shares traits like sympathy for humankind and a connection to magic and creation. This blending of historical and mythological elements makes Flintlock truly unique. Now, let's talk gameplay. Flintlock is a souls light -like game, making it more accessible than traditional Souls-like titles, but still challenging enough for veterans. You'll wield melee weapons, firearms, and magical abilities, all of which can be customized to suit your playstyle. The developers have emphasized fashion souls, allowing you to combine different gear and weapons to create your own unique look and strategy. One of the standout features is the integration of gunpowder and magic. Firearms aren't just for show, they're integral to both the story and gameplay. For instance, you can use your pistol to interrupt deadly attacks or rely on Inky's magic to weaken enemies for powerful critical hits. This combination of tactical gunplay and mystical abilities keeps the combat fresh and exciting. The world building in Flintlock is also top notch. The above, representing the Napoleonic era, is contrasted with the below, inspired by the underworld of Mesopotamian mythology. This duality not only enhances the narrative, but also provides a diverse and immersive environment for players to explore. In conclusion, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn is shaping up to be a game that fantasy and history buffs alike will love. Its unique blend of Napoleonic aesthetics, Mesopotamian mythology, and engaging gameplay mechanics makes it stand out in the crowded gaming landscape. So, what are your thoughts on Flintlock? Are you excited to dive into this rich, fantastical world? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.